in the video for today, I'm going to show you how to track a lost or stolen Android phone using Google Find My Device in 2025. This is going to be the latest method to do this. So I want you to watch my video completely till the end. Is to get hold of a laptop or the first step is to get hold of a laptop or a PC or an Android phone that is connected to the internet. You could get an Android phone from your friend, not a problem, or your sister or your brother, no issues. Once you do that, the second step is to get onto Google on your laptop or your cell phone and just do a search for Find My Device. Find My Device is an application that helps you track or locate Android devices on Google map. So you could click on the first suggestion. So once you are on the website or if you're on the application, you need to sign in with the same email address, which was on your phone that you have lost or that you have misplaced. Once you do that, Find My Device is going to track it to a specific location. Now, this could be the last location of your phone or this could be the current location of your phone. So whatever may be the case, your next step is to rush to this location and try to see if your phone is there. You could even zoom in to see the exact location, the building name or whatever, and you could try and get your phone back. If you get your phone, fantastic. But if you do not, the next step is to block your phone. So Google Find My Device has a fantastic feature in which you could go ahead and secure your device by clicking on the second option here to the left. Once you do that, you get a pop-up which tells you that your phone will be locked with a PIN, pattern or password. You'll be signed out of Google account on the device. After the device is secured, you could still locate it. Okay. And all your payment cards that was synced to your Google wallet is gonna be removed for your security. So if you click on secure device, all these things are gonna happen and your device is gonna get blocked. And apart from securing your device, you could even go ahead and reset your device to ensure that your data is not misused. So if you click on factory reset device, you are gonna get a pop-up like this, which tells you that all your data will be erased permanently from your phone. After the reset, the location will not be available on Find My Device. And if it is offline, erasing will begin once it is online again. So the phone has to be online so that this option actually goes into effect. So when you click on next, if your phone is online, it's gonna get erased completely. Now, apart from these two extreme secured options, Find My Device is giving you, if you think that your phone is nearby somewhere, but it is in silent mode. I mean, you've tried everything. You tried calling from a different phone. You've tried, uh, you know, maybe doing a Skype call or whatever to contact your device, but it is not ringing at all. You could click on this option to play sound. And even if your device is in silent mode, it is going to ring. So if your device is nearby, it's going to ring so loud that you're going to hear it and you're going to get back your phone. And apart from all these steps, if you have purchased your phone in India, you could go ahead and file in a complaint to an online portal called CEIR. Now, this is a specific department in India who caters to only lost or stolen mobile phones, Android or Apple, not a problem. So you could get onto ceir.gov.in. This is going to be the website on which you could see that they have blocked over 24 lakh mobile phones and they have retrieved over 14 lakh mobile phones. So how to block your phone is going to be very simple. You need to get onto this option, CER services, click on the first option and you get directed to a page on which you have to fill up a form. So you fill up a form here. You need to upload a soft copy of the FIR that you filed into the local police station. Fill up all the data out here, put in a phone number that you could be contacted uh, if these guys uh, need to and you get a request ID or a tracking ID, you could keep that ID. And uh, if your phone is found, you could use that tracking ID to unblock your phone again. And by chance, if these guys find your phone, you could go ahead and unblock it by getting on to this option to unblock found mobile phone. You need your request ID, put that in out here, put in the phone number that you utilized while you were filling up the form. And uh, you could select a reason for unblocking, found by self, recovered by police, whatever it is, solve the capture, put in the phone number again, get an OTP, submit this, and within a few hours, your phone is unblocked. Remember, even after you unblock your phone, you need to keep the copy of the FIR that you had filed in. It's very important. You need to keep that at all times to ensure that in the future, if anybody else is telling you that, hey, uh, you know, your phone is misused and uh, you are the culprit of some bad thing, you're not pulled up for it.
I'm sure you get it, right? So I hope this helps and you get your Android phone or tablet recovered back. And if you need any assistance, I'm always there to back you up for any advice or anything. Just send me an email. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Take care, my friend.